This is Hupcast, the short, sharp podcast from the Hands Up Project. To be the moon, to be alone, to be half, or a crescent, or even full, still enough, still lovely, to take time through my phases, from dark to glowing up skies, to be appreciated and not put at fault, while to shine through someone's eyes, to be one with the moon. The poem you've just heard was read by a girl at St. Louise's Comprehensive School in Belfast. But it was written by a 14-year-old girl in Gaza, Nada Mikdad. It was submitted by Nada for this year's poetry competition and inspired by a painting of a girl looking at the moon by another young girl in Gaza, Leila Abed. It's published in our book, Moon Tell Me Truth, and alongside many other poems handwritten by Palestinian children, is on display as part of our exhibition at the Bristol Palestine Museum. Here's another of Nada's poems in the exhibition read by a girl in Bristol. My eyes, skin, cheeks I wish to change, a bottle I threw into the sea's range. The waves called out, Brown skin, you are beautiful. The tree grabbed my scarf, so powerful. The sun whispered in my ear, You are all my children, I hold you dear. As well as a poet, Nada is an artist in other ways too. She performed as the main actress in the brilliant intercultural remote play, The Screen, earlier this year. And she's also an accomplished painter with her very own unique style. When we met her face to face at the Islamic University in Gaza City in July, she handed me a painting that she'd done. I'll treasure this for the rest of my life. Nada told me that she wrote her poem about the moon while sitting in her garden and looking at the moon herself. It's tragic that her garden and in fact her whole home have now been destroyed and she's been forced to move to the south of Gaza. This is the message she sent me yesterday. Hi, my name is Nada. I lost many of my friends, teachers and relatives during this attack. With everything that have been going on and how my life just flipped in a second, I don't think that I'm the same person anymore especially with me feeling like everything is falling apart. But I'm reminding myself that there is still hope and everything will be over soon. With the truth right now, I feel somehow that everything will be okay soon. And that's what I'm holding into it right now. Children in Gaza have gone through a really hard time, not just in the last 50 days. They have been suffering since the day they are born. They have been starved and traumatized from everything that has seen or experienced. In the occasions of uh, 2008, 2012, 2014, 2018, 2021, 2022. I was born in 2008 and have lived through all of them. I have never lived to see a clear sky without hearing the sounds of drones never been able to live to another country or visit my own. We lost our basic rights. I lost my home. I lost my school. I lost people I love. I'm an artist, a writer, and I love to read so much. I have many hobbies and talents just like every child in here in Gaza. But they are gone now, just like every dream I had and every child here had. So please don't stop talking about us. Don't forget us. Do as much as you can to stop this attack on every woman, child, and man in Gaza.